So could you tell us your name? J. Morgan Philpot. Um, I go by Morgan. I started practicing law in 2008. I'm a he healthy person who would never contemplate suicide. <laughs> <laughs> in case in case anybody wonders if anything happens to me are you are you going to agree our freedoms are waning and we'll lose our liberty slipping one by one until there's nothing left to see are you are you willing to stand with me Chaos inside a federal courtroom as not guilty verdicts are handed down in the case of a wildlife refuge protest. <laughs> not guilty, everybody. <laughs> All the U.S. Marshals attacked Mumford and throws him to the ground, and they had, and they took, I mean, there was like eight of them on him, and they tased him. So, so after the verdicts were read, uh, um, the, the the court said, hey, we don't, we, um, you're free to go, um, but but the marshals might have something to say about it. And it yeah, they had, they had surrounded me at that point, and so I just turned to them and I said, guys, show me show me what, what papers you have, and the next thing I know, they just had a hold of me, and then they put me, they were twisting my legs, they put me to the ground, and, and then they uh, t I t tased me. And when he gets surrounded by at least a dozen federal agents, he puts his arms up in the air and says, what are you doing? And they throw him to the ground. And so they literally tased him. Then they drug me. It was interesting. They drug me. They drug my brother, Ryan, out. And they drug David Fry. And David Fry had been acquitted on all charges and had no hold in, in Nevada, nothing. If the jury just found me not guilty, how come they're still treating me as a guilty person, you know? making me wear all these chains and stuff. They literally beat him to the ground and handcuffed him and drug him down. Here he was, an acquitted man of all charges with no other charges on him. They attacked me. They, they tackled me and threw me to the ground and put their knees on my back and all that and as an innocent person. And he still was transported in belly chains, handcuffs, leg iron. I think what happened at the end is very symbolic of the inappropriate escalation of force by the federal government. For some reason, problems start to happen in the lives of people who are in that case. Marcus Mumford, for example. Uh, what happens to Rick? Yeah, just moments ago, the jury of eight men and four women found Rick Kerber, the free capitalist, uh, guilty on 15 counts of securities and wire fraud, as well as money laundering. You could say that uh, they're not related, but it just becomes a little too coincidental when everybody who was involved in helping Ammon uh, starts to get troubles in life that come from the government. Lavoie becomes the most salient example of what happens when the government becomes so systemically corrupt. Lavoie's death is not an isolated incident caused by two Oregon State Troopers, although they did shoot him, that it is the manifestation, the result of a, a multi-year conspiracy by the government. Are you, are you just going to let it be? The ranchers are first, but brother next it may be me. We all stand together or we'll hang separately. Are you?